Okay, welcome back to our Ultima Discord bot course. And in this episode, we really want to finalize the Guess a Word game. And what we are left to do is to make sure that we start a new round after someone has won the current round and that we can actually finish the game and delete our channel again. So let me do this manually for now and let's start implementing the new round. Now, when we hear, when we are in our games cog, we know that uh, here in the guessing command, that when the result is true from our guess, that someone has won. So we want to create a new round down here. Let's go to our controller and create a new method and we are just going to call it um, new round yeah i think that's that's good enough and we're going to supply a channel for that because remember we do have our create game instance and this is pretty much what i'm just going to call let's just make sure that our current game is set to none so this is destroyed and now I want to create the game instance and I'm going to supply the channel ID and the channel name. Now, the next thing I do is save and get the game, right? So saving, make sure that it is here in our games object and getting the game is just going to make sure that we have it in our current game. So let's do this, save it, and go back to our games cog. Now all that we have to do is access our game controller in the context again and say next round. And we supply the channel. I do have a reference here. I'm just going to change it to channel, remove the ID here. And then I have to change the channel ID here to channel.id. And I can now supply it down here in the next round. Oh, sorry, new round. And that is one thing. Now, I also want to have a message again that says, okay, the new round has a category, blah, blah, blah. So let's just copy this code. So let's fetch the new game or the next round. Uh, new round let's call it this way and copy the message for the channel and say okay i'm going to supply here the new round category and the new round word length and instead of saying the first round i say new round category uh-huh and word length bum that's it let's try it out so let's start a new game with Aris as usual and the startup tech tutorial account. And there we see, okay, the first round is in the category nature with a word length of four. Uh-huh. So let me guess. Is it three? Let's see what our mistake is. The new game is not defined. And let's have a look where we actually call new game well not in here in fact this is a variable if i remember correctly and that should be new round current game get game save new game of course because we never set it let's make sure that we actually use the create game instance correctly and actually get the return value and then save that one in here. That was a stupid copy paste mistake. But now if we just quickly drop this channel, try it one more time. So with RS and the startup tech tutorial account, and we also get the message. The first round is in development with the word, well, it's Python. And I won. And we see a new round, category companies with a word length of seven. Okay, that should be Discord. Yes, perfect. 
and cars and so on and so on. Now it's enough. I think we can now close the game and let's implement this uh, with a new command, with a new sub command, in fact. And I'm gonna copy the first two lines and say, okay, this is the end command. And I'm just gonna call it actually end as well. Now I don't need a, a string here as an argument. Instead, all I really want to do is actually call my destroy method that we have created in the beginning. I'm just gonna make sure that I evade this and let's go over the destroy method one more time. And um, where is it? Let's find it. Okay, down here we have it. Now let's make sure I async this because the delete channel still has an error that we haven't fixed yet, but we're gonna do this now. In fact, let's await delete. We have to await the delete, which means we have to make this async and therefore we can also await this here. So now this should work if I call the context gore game destroy. Now the destroy, however, does require the guild and the channel ID. That's not a problem. Now, again, you don't need to write it like this, but I like to make it more obvious at all times. So I say guild is from the context guild and the channel is from the context channel. Now, all I have to do is provide the ch guild and the channel ID, right? Perfect. So we don't have a game up and running right now. So let's start once again, a new one with our two buddies here. And there we have it. Let's just play a quick round. So the world is Python, hooray, I won. And now it's time to end it. And that's it, the channel is gone. So with this, we can actually say, okay, this is it. This is the end of the game for, for the guess a word episodes. We're gonna finish this actually by saying a few more things. Now the guess a word game is not perfectly implemented, I would say as a practical game, there are much better solutions for this, uh, specifically if you go online and, and play it with, with actual painting and drawing. But the reason why I chose it was to get uh, a, the concept across in a context that everyone understands. Now, obviously what we have just learned in the past episodes is how to create text channels temporarily and give the permissions to just a few people and only allow certain commands in there, make sure that uh, we can interact with that, that our controller takes care of all of these things. Now, if you let your creativity go wild a little bit, you recognize you could easily use that in your own use case, for instance, for well, for a gaming clan, maybe with clan wars. For a company, maybe with with meetings. I mean, there's nothing that stops you to create an event. And then when the event happens, create the channel, give only the permissions to the people who signed up for the event. Um, for instance, in a team meeting, you could record everything that is said in there. Maybe also have a voice channel created automatically by the board. You know, and at the end of the meeting, you know, type in a command that saves the the chat and puts it into a PDF file and then send it, send it, sends it back to the Discord as a download or sends it out by email or uploads it to the AWS account that you have. You know, the possibilities are endless because you are in Python. You're not under the constraint of Discord here. It's simply the communication tool. And you can do all of these things. Now, let's go in the next episode into, well, some of these things I just said, because we're gonna start working on our lottery game.
And with that, we're gonna introduce a few more libraries and tools so that we don't just work with Discord, but we also work with a few other things at the same time. And with that, I see you on the next one. Thank you.